Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko is to spearhead four-party talks on the 9th of December aimed at bringing about real peace to East Ukraine. Russia, the Kremlin-backed fighters occupying parts of East Ukraine and the OSCE will also be taking part in the talks in Minsk, Belarus. Both sides have also agreed to hold a day-long ceasefire on the 9th of December. In the lead-up to the discussions, Poroshenko laid out his requirements for implementing peace in the region. The preliminary agreement has been reached so far that the meeting in Minsk will be held on December 9th. The objectives that Ukraine is setting are to confirm the plan, the schedule of realization and implementation of the Minsk agreements. That means the day of artillery silence should start from December 9th and within 30 days move to the contact line, which is stipulated in the Minsk protocol. A 12-point ceasefire deal was originally agreed by the four parties three months ago in Minsk. Among the peace requirements were the creation of a buffer zone on the Russia-Ukraine border, the removal of foreign fighters, the release of prisoners and the decentralization of power to the Donbass. Since the peace deal, there have been regular reports of shelling and fighting in East Ukraine. Over 1,000 people have reportedly been killed since the ceasefire, with hundreds of thousands now living in refugee camps in cities including Kiev. The Russian-backed militants also held farcical presidential elections last month in Donetsk and Lugansk, which diminished hopes of a peaceful solution. Interfax is reporting that the Donetsk militants are seeking to reschedule talks for no earlier than December the 12th. Russia has backed the East Ukraine insurgents with equipment, weapons, fighters and training during the eight-month conflict.